everyone. Good morning. Um, I am here. Oh God, my hands so. So it is 9:56 a.m. on the 8th of October, 2020. In case you know you want to know the year. Um, I didn't even finish my vlog yesterday. Not that I know if I can even edit it or not. Um, I just I'm not actually ill <laughs> I mean I'm not 100% but I'm not I thought I was going to be really ill well I didn't think I'd be really ill I didn't know what to think obviously based on um, previous vaccinations I did expect to be more unwell than what I feel and like I said I don't feel 100% I am absolutely an egg roll's mother <laughs> oh god I've not I've only had a small drink today, I need to have a drink. I am not exhausted. Well, I am exhausted. What the hell? I am exhausted. Um, the dog woke me up, and do you know when you're just there like, oh my God. And I hoped my dad was up, but, you know, I was hoping for a miracle that he wasn't. And we had cuddles for ages. Sometimes in the morning she can just be so lovely, and then she eventually wants to be like have a, a fight, <laughs> like a play fight. Um, but yeah, we had cuddles for a while and I kept thinking I hope my dad gets up because I could still fall asleep. Because you know, it does get to a point where you're not going to get back to sleep. And eventually I realised he wasn't going to get up. Um, and I wasn't going to get any more sleep when in reality I could have done with at least two more hours at least. Um, and I think that's the main, main side effect that I've had. I was like tired last night and then I sort of got this burst of energy. I don't know where it came from, but when I did go up to bed, like, I did, I didn't go lie down straight away, but I did feel very tired. So, oh God, my arm. My other main symptom, well actually, yesterday. So I'll tell you what symptoms I've got and then I'll tell you what actually happened. I do need to vlog at some point today. I don't even know if I'm going to get on a dog walk. I didn't get out yesterday. Um, I always, like, I think it's going to be impossible today because of what time it is. My dad's currently out with the dog. Why won't this work? Um, because my dad's literally just gone out, like, a minute or two before I started filming. And he said he's going to take her for a second walk, which she typically does on the weekends, but he's not done the last couple of weeks. Um, and he's going out at like whatever time. So if he like goes out now, comes back, has his food, takes her out again, when he comes back again, he's going to go out, which means that if there was an opportunity for me to leave the street, I couldn't do because he won't be here when I'm potentially coming back and he won't be able to check if there's anyone around and if it's safe for me to come back on the street. So because of that, I may not get a walk today, unfortunately, but this is how it's been because of what's going on on the street. So as much as I would like a walk, I obviously don't feel up to one this morning, but this afternoon it would have been nice, but because of the neighbours unfortunately I cannot get off the street and if I did manage to get off it's harder to get back on because when you're here you can look round and see if there's anyone around and get out and off the street quickly but when you're coming back even though yeah I can pull over and look at the cameras the cameras don't obviously show everything and I can see more from the house and um, yeah it's, it's harder because I have come back and things have like oh god my arm haven't been great so it's very stressful and I know I'd, I would feel like a walk like to feed this afternoon which typically I can't do at the weekend anyway but yeah unless and the thing is like even if people went out you never know how long they're going to go for like you don't know if they're going to go for like 10 minutes or two hours you don't know so so like everyone could go out and I could go oh yeah I can go out but I could go out 
and some of them could come back within an hour and I'd still be out. So it's not a very nice situation to be in, but this is the situation that I am in, unfortunately. So hopefully tomorrow I will feel better and I can just get out like in the morning and have a good walk because I didn't get out yesterday because of the rain. And even though it, it stopped raining, I just, you know, I just did not feel up to it. And I got back later because apparently I was walking around this shop as slow as bloody a snail. Um, but I still could have got out for maybe 40 minutes, but I just did not feel up to it. So I thought, how am I going to feel this weekend? Because I didn't know if I'd get really sick or not. And I will tell you my symptoms in a minute. Um, but hopefully today... I'll just continue as I am, won't get any worse and hopefully have a good night's sleep and hopefully get out at like 9 in the morning or something. I used to, I couldn't get out at weekends and then I worked out if I went out early enough I could and get back before anyone's around. <coughs> um, there's been times when I've literally come home and they've suddenly appeared but for the most part I Oh, recently though, I, I have gone out a couple of times late because there's been no one around and then people have come back and I've been str I've struggled to get back on the street because who wants to go out on a weekend early in the morning? I mean, sometimes I don't mind. Recently I have struggled with it and that's why there's been a couple of weekends where it's been a later morning time or even lunchtime very early afternoon but I know the difficulties and the stress I'm going to go through to try and get back on the street. So I would like to get out tomorrow because as I said, I'm probably not going to get out today. If my dad wasn't going out when he was going out and if no one was around, I could have potentially gone out and then he could have made sure I was okay to come home. But obviously he's got plans. So I'm going to be stuck in the house when I really do. Oh, do you know what? I feel like fresh air would help how I'm feeling. So as far as I'm feeling is I'm very tired. And when I went to bed, I was really cold. I'd put the heating on, you know. I woke up at three in the morning, three, four o'clock, and I was too hot. I had the bathroom window open, I had the fan on with the heating on. But I was so tired, I couldn't physically walk down the stairs to, like, go and turn it off. Um, this morning, I was too hot. Then the dog obviously made it really cold. So then I was too cold. Then I put the heating on for a little bit, and then I've turned it off. Um... I am extremely tired, like when she woke me up I was like oh my god I feel like I've had two hours sleep because that's literally how I felt and I still feel that way to be honest. So I would say my main, main symptom is this extreme tiredness, it's just, it's not nice, my eyes are like, <clears throat> do you know when your eyes get to a certain point and you think god I need to go to bed, that's how it is, but when you've got a husky you're not going to get to go to bed. So that's fun. Um, last night, I don't know what time it was, I was in here and I'd gotten changed because I had like a jumper on and jeans and I suddenly became uncomfortable and a little bit too warm so I went on and put a t-shirt on. I kept a vest, I had a vest top on, I kept that on and I had a t-shirt on and I put on <coughs> Excuse me, what did I put on? What did I put on? Oh, I put my Monterey joggers on and trainers. And I came down and I was walking around and then I could suddenly feel on the back of my right arm, do you know like the underneath part, obviously back around that's gonna be the underneath, near the top. I felt this like kind of stinging, scratching, burning sensation. And I'm like, what's that? So I lifted my arm up and looked. And it's like I've got loads of scratches under my arms. Like, I did try and take pictures, which is difficult taking a picture of your underarm or the back of your arm. And it actually feels like scratches. It was a lot more raised last night. And I'm like, how the hell have I done that? Because I've had a jumper on all day. I've not been anywhere where I would get scratches. Like, and they were really like swollen up scratches last night. So I took pictures and I'm Googling it because you know like one of the side effects is rash, you can get hives, you can get all sorts of skin irritation. So I just was like, it must be that. 
So I sent my mum some pictures because apparently my mum knows everything about everything medical. And she, like I said, do you think this is an allergic reaction? She said it could be, keep an eye on it. Well, it's hard to actually keep an eye on where it is, but yeah, it's not hurting as much now, but it feels like I've got loads of scratches. It looks like scratches, but like no one's scratched me there. Um, but the swelling has gone down, but it's still very sore. So I think that was because of the vaccination, but it's funny, it's underneath, like I had the vaccination on the top of my arm or like whatever. And then I've got this underneath, so it is, it is sore and it, like it does look and feel like scratches, but I couldn't have got it any other way. So the next symptom is my arm, the same arm is so unbelievably sore, it's tender, it's not stiff but it's like i don't know like certain movements you can't really do because it's like it is kind of stiff like there's not as much movement as normal um very very sore it hurts even when i'm not moving it like i've got the underneath the scratch things like it's kind of stingy burn it kind of sensation then on the top it's like i don't know it feels like do you know when someone's punched you really hard and there's that after the af not the actual punch feeling, the after kind of feeling, when it's like kind of a throb, very painful. It's like that. Um, every movement really hurts. Like I said, I can't move it certain ways. And if I do try and move it certain ways, the pain is just so bad. Um, I've, I've had some painkillers like an hour ago and it's not taken the edge off at all. Um, but I don't have... Last time I had this exact vaccination, I did have a rash there and it was red and stuff. I don't currently have a rash. You can't see where the needle went, but it is like, it is so unbelievably sore. Um, so that's a symptom. Um, I have aching hands, but I had them yesterday, but like they're more achy, especially like my knuckles. Um, I am a little bit achy in, <coughs> Excuse me, it's because I've not had enough drink to drink. Um, I am a little bit achy in my body, but nothing major. Um, I have a little bit of a headache. Um, I'm, I don't know, I just don't feel 100%, but I don't feel super bad. So that's it, really. I just, I don't feel horrendous. So as long as I don't feel horrendous, it's all good, isn't it? Um... I'm sure I'll be okay. I hope I'll be okay. But because I got flu and COVID vaccination, I was like, oh God, I'm going to be like ill. Because when I have flu vaccination, I have gotten ill on it. The first time I had it, I was so unwell. Um, but I wasn't that unwell compared to, you know, like how I have been unwell in the past. Every time I've had the flu vaccination, I've not been as ill as the previous time. So... Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I just, I do have a headache. I don't feel 100%. I'm very tired and I'm, I'm sore. But other than that, I can't really complain about how I feel because I've felt much, much worse when I've had the flu or the COVID vaccinations and getting them together, I just thought, well, there's double the chance of getting sick, but I don't feel massively unwell. Yeah, it's inconvenient. And, oh God, do you know what? I could probably sleep all day. I don't think my do dog would be happy if I went back to bed because she would have to go with me. But I'm going to try and stay awake all day. I mean, I'm good at fighting tiredness, even when I'm bloody really exhausted. So that's where we are with my symptoms, I guess. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. I'm tired and achy. My arm's the worst thing. Um, I do keep going hot and cold. My knees are aching, I just realised, but yeah, there's nothing like that I can really complain about because I have felt worse, so because I have felt worse in the past, I'm definitely not going to complain because I know it can be worse, so I'm just going to consider myself lucky. And I hope you can still hear me. I, I should have started speaking a little bit louder when I walked across the room. But yeah, I'm just going to consider myself a little bit luckier because it could be worse. And I did expect it to be worse, especially because I was double jabbed. So, 
if you if you get involved, if you're eligible, don't worry. If you've got a sick before, I've got a sick before and I haven't this time, so our bodies must be getting used to it. And maybe the maybe the vaccinations have and maybe the vaccinations have changed. I don't know, I'm not a scientist. I don't know if they've altered them, if they've improved them, I don't know. Because obviously they can improve them because they made them as quickly as they could because obviously there was a pandemic and they needed to. But obviously they'll probably know what does and doesn't work and maybe they've altered them, maybe they've improved them. Who knows? But don't worry about it. I actually wasn't as worried as I thought I would be. I was fine. I wasn't too anxious. It was obviously stressful when the nurse didn't think... Um that she should give it to me, but um, I did get it in the end. And I carried on with my day. Yeah, I was hot and cold and things like that, but yeah, I don't feel bad, so don't worry. So I am trying to do a couple of things before my dad comes back. So if I keep going quiet, that's why there's just a few things I need to do. And me chatting slows me down. Like I could have more than done what I'm doing now and been doing other stuff. But I've been chatting, so yeah. I don't know what my plans are because I don't feel wet. Oh, I keep thinking I want to paint, but then I don't have a spare roller head, and my roller head has actually dried out. So I don't know. It's gone rock hard. So, and it would have been easier to do painting, rolling painting, than brush painting. Although I'm still gonna have to do the brush painting. But that's what I thought I might do. But it obviously depends on how I feel as the day goes on. And if I can get motivated, because obviously motivation is, is definitely key. Um, but I did want to do that. I still want to back my room. I need to back my car out. And I can't do, obviously, the neighbours around. I mean, that's been proved before now, when I've been out there, when I thought they've not been around. And they've come home and, like, they've approached me. And I've had to rush inside. So I am reluctant to do it but I really want it to do it before Monday because it, it's going somewhere on Monday I mean it's coming back again don't think I'll get rid of my car but um, it could do with racking out because my dog's constantly molting and there's dogs there absolutely everywhere so I don't know how I'm going to get it done I think if I get out with the dog tomorrow I'm going to like wipe everything down inside to, to make it cleaner and stuff um, I just need to be able to rack it, and that's the main thing, but it does obviously need the other things doing as well. So I know I won't get any car stuff done today, especially my dad's not around, he was around, you know, he could outside I mean you might not want to be but it, it, it would help um because he walked back it for me god if I asked him I think he'd go ballistic but I really want to do it and I was meant like I was going to do it the other day and then it rained and then it just wasn't feasible to do it because when there's no one around I try and do stuff like that but with the rain and other stuff going on I just couldn't do it so that won't get done today if it's going to get done hopefully it'll be tomorrow hopefully the neighbours will go out and I'll be able to if I notice they've gone out because I don't always notice they've gone out but if I notice they've gone out get out straight away with the back I mean it has to be certain neighbours that go out so we'll have to see but um I keep knocking something. So I, I want to do some painting, but it doesn't mean I'm going to. It depends on how I feel. And I say I've not even had breakfast. I've only had like a little bit of water so far today and some medication. 
Oh, I had a protein pudding actually. I had a caramel one because I'm not going to have a smoothie for breakfast today, but I couldn't decide what I wanted. But I think, well, I still don't know. <laughs> I was just going to say that I was going to have a um, wheat a bit, protein wheat a bit, but then I thought, do I want that? I don't know what I want. I want a drink. Um, I don't know where I'm up to on videos. Um, I think I've got today's, well, today's will be up now. Today's and tomorrow's scheduled. Um, I think I've got a couple more uploaded that obviously I can schedule. I've not been able to go through my phone and get countless hours off. I've still got stuff that I filmed, like just talking videos, just so I've got the footage, I've still got them. Oh god, what am I looking for? Oh god, I brought I brought loads of stuff in here the other day just to get it out of the way. Oh god, and there's a big spider living in here somewhere. I mean, there might be more than buddy one. I don't want to come across it. Where would I put what I'm looking for? Oh god knows. I've got loads of stuff that I've just had to shove in here. Decided. Well, I'm going to send the M&S boots back, but I w I'm not going to do it today because I want to try them on. Because if I do decide to get them again, when I've got the money, because I need the I currently need the money for some of them saving for that I've got to pay for very soon. So I thought I'm going to send them back, but I want to try them on before I send them back because obviously if they fit me, I'll know that if I do get them again or if I can get them because you know stuff will sell out and they don't replenish it. Um, if it does fit me, then I'll know what size to get. So I do need to try them on. I need to sort this room out so badly, but I just don't have... Well, I won't be doing it today, but it needs doing. So I can get to things better and I can get rid of stuff that I don't need and maybe find the stuff that I do need. Because I feel like I know that I've got what I'm looking for, but I don't know where I've put it. So that's great. Because I've got something, I just wanted a different version of it. But I can't see where I've put it. I mean, it could be under all of this, and I can't move all of this. I don't think it is under there. Why oh, didn't realise I was under that? Um, it's going to have to do with what I've found. But I'm sure I've got some of what I'm looking for. God. I'm sure when I was cleaning it up, I thought I'll put them here. Yeah, were no. <laughs> oh, I've already got my bedding in the washer because it's bedding washing day. I mean, sometimes it isn't done on a Saturday. Um, it used to be in the week, but it's ended up on a Saturday, and I think it's on its final spin. So that can go in the washer. I actually want some out my car, so when my dad comes back, I'm going to ask him. I'm going to wash all the dog stuff and there's a towel on the back seat because it's been raining a lot um, and it's so she can like get a little bit drier because she's going to be on the towel on the way home um, and then I want there's a towel on the sofa that she sits on and there's another towel that she did sit on but I changed it for that one because that one got filthy um, then there's the blanket in the bed in here there's a towel in here that I dry you with, there's a blanket in the bedroom, so I want to like basically wash all the dog stuff um, as my next lot of washing. So when my dad comes back, he's, I'm um, hopefully, well he's, he's popping somewhere. Oh, where can I is not what I want it well it is and it isn't um yeah I'm going to ask him to get that towel off my back seat this isn't a very interesting video do you know there's some where I've just deleted them because I'm just like that's just boring I am like kind of half occupied trying to do something which should have been done ages ago, but I'm talking. 
taken me ages and I need to do what I'm doing before my dad comes back. Where's my put? I'm going to have to end this video because I, I don't have time to talk and find this and get everything done before my dad returns and he could come back at any point. And I need to have certain things done. So I hope you have an amazing day. Please subscribe. Please hit the bell notification button. Have an amazing day. Thank you for watching. I'll be back soon.